Welcome back to Peaks Peak. Lucas here. Uh, today we are going to uh, change out the grill on the uh, old Dodge. Uh, got kind of a funny story. Um, went looking for a, a diesel truck so I could pull my equipment and, and do stuff around the farm here. And uh, found an old junker on Facebook and went to check it out. And um, as I'm checking it out, uh, it's probably a little little overpriced, but you know i was i was interested in it so i was checking it out and the guy tells me the grill is is busted hit a deer and it's it's broke right here and it kind of a little bit loose and floppy and he said you know if you close the hood you got to be careful when you close it so you know when i'm checking out a vehicle i raise the hood check for blow by and do the usual things checking out the truck if i get ready to close it well in my mind being careful closing the hood is don't just slam it just you know lower it down and I had a hold of it right here where it's loose. And uh, I'll bring you over here and show you what we got going on inside here. So if you look up inside here, whoever installed the uh, the little louvers on the front of the grill here, they they're set up with uh, screws that stick through. And of course, you know those screws are sharp on the inside. So of course, I'm checking out this dude's truck and. Uh, I close the hood and uh, Freon starts spraying out all over the place. One of those screws pops a hole in the AC condenser on the front of it. So here I am looking at a truck that I really may or may not have went ahead and bought, but I, I felt like I broke it, so might as well buy it. So uh, we worked out a deal and uh, I bought the truck. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to change out the grill and then down the road I'll order a new AC condenser and we'll we'll get that all fixed up. So. I'll just uh, put you on time lapse and let you watch the pro process. Um, we'll show you the grill we got here. This is an EAG uh, charcoal grill, and uh, yeah, it's a charcoal grill, but we're not gonna cook hamburgers on it. Um, sorry, dad joke. Um, I found this on eBay, um, but I actually didn't end up ordering it from eBay because I checked on Amazon, and um, it was it was nearly the same price on Amazon, but you got a little easier return procedures and stuff like that with Amazon so they could also get it here a little bit quicker through Amazon so decided to go with them got it here in about three days so we'll go ahead and get this installed and see what it looks like
next little tidbit of useful information when you're going to put one of these EAG grills on your truck is that the nuts and the bolts that come out of your stock grill do not fit the EAG grill and it does not come with them. So I'm going to have to scrounge around and see what kind of bolts and nuts I can find to fit it so I can get this thing put on there. All right, so gonna have to go to Lowe's and get some more nuts. I don't have enough to finish it up, but I got it on there temporarily, and I still gotta hook the wiring up to the parking lots and all that, but uh, we'll get her finished up. All right, I had to pull her out of the garage where the light's a little bit better so you can get a look at it. Uh, pay no attention to my uh, cloudy hood there. Needs a little paint job, but the uh, grill looks a whole lot better. Um, and the biggest thing is that when I close this one, it's not going to poke another hole in my AC condenser. So uh, we're on the right track. I'm going to go ahead and hook up the wire and get those lights lit up. So we'll, we'll come on over here and take care of the animals, pick up the eggs, and do all that stuff real quick. guys what's going on in here you guys are growing up good it won't be long we can turn the heat down and put you guys out in the coop what do you think about that all right so we kind of had a mad scramble there to try and at least get it buttoned up get the headlight put back in get the lights wired up uh, I've got about 15 minutes left to get inside and get a shower and grab a bite to eat before it's time to leave for church. So uh, y'all have a good night. Thanks for watching.